Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura. And do you like to switch up your decorative pillows? Well, I have a very easy backing for pillows that makes switching them very quick and easy. And it's very little sewing. Now I'm just going to use this plain piece of fabric for the front, but you can put any pillow front on that you want for this method. So here's my pillow front. And for my back, I have two sizes that are identical to the front. So I actually have three pieces of fabric identical in size. This is going to be my front. The two are going to be my back. The first piece, well, it's very easy to do. You're going to take that piece and fold it right in half on itself and press that. And that pressed half piece is going to go on the front of the pillowcases so that the right sides are touching. You'll be able to match up the raw edges. The second part of the back is also very easy. Take it and fold it in half and just finger press that seam. Take the one edge, you're going to match it up to that fold line. And finger press again. And this is the size that you're going to want for the back. Open it up again, take that edge and match it up to that fold line, and finger press it again. This time it's going to stay in that position and you're going to just move it over. So you have your three fabrics right on the one end. Now press this. So you have the front of the pillow facing up. That fold, because you used the same fabric, you won't have to worry about what side's right and what side's wrong. It's going to be fine. For that last piece, you're going to have the good side facing down. So all of the good sides are going to be facing each other. And you need to match up all of the edges. Now just sew all the way around. The only thing different when I stitch this together is I will do a little bit of a back stitch on both of the edges where the seams match up and I can feel where that seam is inside. I also do a little back stitch there. That's just going to reinforce it. Trim off your corners coming very close to that stitching line but do not cut into the stitching line. And you're going to be able to put your hand inside and turn that pillow right side out. And when the pillow is turned right side out, that piece that you folded in half is going to be on the top, which is what you want because you want the pillow back to look like it has a center seam. So it's going to keep the pillow balanced. Now it doesn't matter how big your pillow is or how small your pillow is. This will generally work for any pillow. Straighten out all your seams and press it. Once it's pressed, it's done. It is very easy to put the pillow inside. The top pillow back that's half the size, you can take it and move it back to the front. Now you have that larger back. From there you're going to be able to put the pillow in. And when that pillow is put in all the way to the end, this gives you the chance to fix the pillowcase so that it's exactly the way you want it. Now you're going to be able to put your hand in and hold that pillow and flip that front forward. Then tuck it in and you have that opening in the back. So that back now looks nice and clean and finished. That other seam allowance is way inside here and that's the other reason why I really don't need to machine stitch it. It's going to stay. So now I have a great cover for a pillow and it's very easy to remove. I can wash this and change it as each season goes on. So this is a quick and no sew method to make a nice envelope back for your pillows. It's great because you're going to be able to change that pillow whenever you decide to. Thank you for joining me today on Tuesday's Tips. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.